Hello guys, what is up? This is Galantigelli, and welcome to another episode of the Pokemon X Wonderlock. So, well, uh, thanks to one of my viewers, or, um, I guess you can say that she's a friend on Twitter, or a viewer on Twitter, I don't even know. She watches the Twitch stuff, though. And, um, I saw her online, I was like, yo, would you mind treating me, um, this Haunter to Volunteer King? She said, okay. Because she's already online, I didn't really want to ask anybody else to get online, so... Yeah, it saved me the job, it saved me everything, so thank you very much for that. Uh, we got the Gengar, though, and, um... Yeah, Gengar is looking good. I looked up, and, uh, apparently there's really no difference between Hunter and Gengar. Gengar, um, learns the same exact moves, same exact levels, as Hunter does. So, there's really nothing bad about evolving it right now, and I might as well do it since I'm about to go to the gym. I don't really want to use anything else other than Gengar, since it can resist most grass-type moves, if not all. And, um, well, nothing can really touch it, to be honest. If I bring Gengar in here, then it can pretty much wreck everything in sight. And having it evolved, it will be even better than an Eevee like Haunter, if anything. So, let's get on the show. Let's get on the road. I don't really know. I don't really remember how this uh, gym pattern does work. But, um, let's see. I mean, pretty sure I have to go on the right. I'm pretty sure the left is, um... A dead end, if anything. So, yeah. I mean, this is the grass type gym. Nothing really too crazy about it. There's a nice little pattern. Ramos is cool. He's very old and shit. He has a nice little go go and all that fun stuff. But, um, honestly, you know, there are better gym leaders, better gyms around. But it's cool that a grass type gym. Again, the fourth gym, just like Gen 1, which is pretty unique, I guess. Um, just, let me see. Just see how he's gonna take this Shadow Ball to the head. I'm pretty sure this will take him about. Tell low orange? Wow, it's a red. I was not expecting that, but that's super effective. That actually did a lot more than I thought it would. Then again, Gengar's defense is pretty much ass all over, so I can pretty much expect everything to... If, 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 it, if it's just a little like is going to do that much, I'm kind of scared, but I'm kind of expecting it, to be honest, because his defense sucks. His own defense is a lot better than his defense, but they, they both aren't really that great in either terms. Look at that, 61 and 72, yeah. <laughs> Ain't going anywhere great with that, but level 40 Gyarados, we're not going to restrict a Gengar only. We can use all the Pokemon too, but hey, I might as well use Gengar while I can. Um, resist most things. I guess I got a little unlucky with Slim Sage being there knowing Lick. Or maybe a lot of Pokemon will go straight move Shadowy and I'll die. <laughs> but anyway, so let's go up this little ropey ropey rope. It's been a little while that I've... Ro okay. Uh, it's been a little while since I have... Um, I guess Recorded this. I mean, it's been like a few days. I've mostly been live streaming and whatnot If you want to go check out the uh, Pokemon X and Y dual egglock that's on Josh's channel the fortune gamer You can do so. Um, it's on his channel. It's also a live stream series and um, Let's just take me down. Oh, I think I should go down here. and then make a left pretty much. Yeah. I'm trying to remember how to do this. I think I'm doing it the right way. I think, maybe? I don't really care. But yeah, we're doing a dual Agalaki co-op. Um, it's, it's not a race, but uh, basically we're opening up your guys' eggs that you did send in. And it's really, really, really fun. I really enjoy it. Live stream series are a lot different from recording, especially whenever you do it with someone else. Because you're a lot more open. You can interact with the viewers so much better, which I love. I love interacting with all of you guys. And um, you guys really, a lot of you came out and uh, supported the series. And there's a like, grass will slope. Stop. Why you do this? Why you do this? Um, yeah, but a lot of you guys who did come out was they're really supportive. I really do appreciate that. Um, we're going to have more episodes coming out soon, I'm pretty sure. Either today or tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be uploading this on Saturday, so I can say today or tomorrow. I'm probably going to go out with my friends tonight. So, if anything, it will probably be on Sunday. If you're watching this in the future, then don't worry about what the hell I'm saying. All you got to do is go and check out the Fortune Gamers channel and uh, watch the live streams that you did miss and make sure to catch up. Or if the series is over, just, you know, bulk watch them, I guess. It's really fun. We got face cam, we got parties, we got everything going down. Uh, but that Roselia was really fucking annoying. Like, really, toxic spikes and then poison point. Like, that's just, that's, that's just stupid. But here's Sin's fair Pokemon, where me damn. <laughs> Sin fucking hates Burmy. See, it, it just lived a fucking Mega Punch. It, this thing's a monster. And you just use Hidden Power that's like fighting. Come on. This thing is too good for me, I swear. I'm like scared of this thing. Chip away, motherfucker. Uh, Roselia was fucking stupid, man. I mean, seriously. <clears throat> but I also have been live streaming in general on Twitch.tv. If you want to go check that out, that's um, in the description below. I do.
doing Super Mario Sunshine, if you can tell already by my uploading on the channel. I'm doing that whenever the hell I really want. Um, I will probably still upload them whenever I do do them. Or you can just go ahead and follow me on there or on Twitch or both. I'd appreciate it. And um, on Twitch, you can also you, um, you can also interact with me any way you, you want. And we do not have poison or eh. yeah. Um, that's kind of stupid. Oh well. I'll try to get Gengar awake on the next turn. I don't really care if Kangaskhan is poison, to be honest, because I could just Gyarados anyways. All right. Yeah, this. Now you have to make a right, I believe. And at least face it one more turn before I go ahead and verse Ramos, because I don't want to go in there with a sleeping a Gengar, yeah. So up there is the gym leader, I'm pretty sure. Um, if I did everything correctly, that is. But, um, yeah, you might as well go ahead and check my Twitch account. I've been streaming a lot more lately. It's really fun. I love interacting with everybody, like I said before. And I'd really appreciate you all if you did go in there and uh, click the follow button. Support it out. See how things go. If you like it, you do. If you don't like it, then, oh well, it's not for you. That's how it is. And we're going to get some glimmer over here, and, uh, is that like, that, that, that's like negative damage, okay, cool. This is like the perfect, um, thing to wake up to. The gloom is drooling all over you, and absorbing your energy. I mean, that's fucking, that's fucking scary, to be honest. <laughs> if there's, you know, sleep powder, like the next thing that comes out, I'm going to be really mad. Alright, let's try to keep our PP, preserve it. Of course you use fucking stun spore now, okay. Okay, whatever, whatever. Whatever game. Fuck you. So stupid. I want to like preserve some of my shadow balls and then bang. Like seriously now. Come on. I mean, at least I have paralyze here. At least I do. But um, seriously. Executor. Okay, you can go die. Executor. Oh shit, it's a psychic type, so that can wreck me actually. All right. I was thinking, hey, it's a psychic type. I can wreck it. Oh wait, a psychic type can wreck me too. Why the fuck is this a poison type? Ah. Whatever. Gyarados. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> I was kind of, I was about to like half-ass it and just go inside and be like, hey, and then you see like confusion and destroy me. Yeah. This is not going to do anything to Gyarados. Come on now. I didn't do shit. Ice Fang up in this. I forgot I actually did I have Ice Fang, so this is even better than I thought. One shot. Damn. Gyarados on his A game, not his not his B plus game, his A game. Not his A plus game, but his A game, you know, still still A game. Villain growing levels, everybody growing levels. Everybody's having fun. Everybody's enjoying the experience, the ride, the everything. So let's go up here and if I should be I should be at the gym later right now. Maybe. Maybe. Reason I am skipping trainers is because I'm already at such a freaking high level that it's kind of ridiculous. I don't want to get any more. I don't want to get any higher of a level. I do usually, you know, fight most of the trainers whenever I do play games. But um, in this case, it's it's better off if I don't fight the trainers because of how over leveled I am. Bandy, who let's go on to versing Ramos, the gym the old man himself, the one with the wacky ass mustache and well, vision has a mustache, it's a beard. Oh, so you've made it clear up here. I'm the gym leader, Ramos is the name. So, what do you think, Weapon Snapper? Did you enjoy the played and playground I made with all these sturdy plants of mine? This strength is a sign of my strength as a gun and a gym leader. You sure you're up to facing all that? This is, the dude's holding a fucking scissor cane, like, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Look at him, he has like a fucking pedal face, I swear, it's weird. Alright, but it's just another jump off, which, uh, you know, I, I could have started off with Gyarados if I remembered this. I'll put this thing to sleep, how about that? And of course he reads it. Oh, fuck. Okay, good thing I'm not holding an item, since I think if, you hold the, if the opponent is holding an item, wouldn't it always have a crit? That's kind of scary. Ooh, goddamn. There we go. Alright. I'll put in Gyarados now, for Christ's sake. Acrobatics is a scary ass move, and uh, the point that Jumpluff can learn that was pretty good. And I was never really a big fan of Jumpluff, but I gotta check it out a little bit. I gotta actually look at it. I gotta stop neglecting it so much, because Hop is ass. I gotta, I gotta actually look into its movesets and stuff, since I think Jumpluff can actually have some potential. And fuck you for waking up after one turn. Like, seriously, what the fuck? 
Oh my god, I hate you. Alright. I spank up in this bitch. Fuck you. Insta-kill. Eh, what are you gonna bring out next? Is it gonna be your uh, victory bell? Pretty sure. No, weeping bell. She has a weeping bell, so she's ass. She doesn't have a fucking victory bell. A hydro pump. Hydro. No, I'm not. I'm not teaching him that. What am I thinking? This thing's adamant. As like no special attack. No. Bad idea. I'm gonna say you keep on going in levels, you pseudo. All right, go go what's up. This thing has bulldoze, but since we have Levitate and Gengar, that's really, you know, good, I guess. I'll heal up Gengar in case it does know something that's like, that'll do a lot of damage that I don't, I don't know about. <laughs> I don't think it really knows anything that can do a lot of damage to Gengar, even though its defense is ass. I know it knows bulldoze, like, if I remember correctly. Something that's ground. Um, we can resist that, happily. So, let's use the super vision. I, I want to play conservatively. I don't want to half-ass things out there and then die like I did two other times. Grass Knot, you're not that heavy, Gengar. Come on now. There we go. Take that like a chip. You're a fucking ghost. I mean, you're like 66 pounds and you're a ghost, but still, 66 pounds is very light. So, eh, I'm not even going to hate. Shadow does pretty much half. So that's good. You're going to stay the same way, Gengar. You're not going to get any fatter on me and then die, are you? You best not. Shadow ball up in the face, bitch. Die. And here comes a weeping bell. That's not going to do anything to me. So, we pretty much won this battle with ease. Gengar pretty much takes it in his own. Dream Eater is a very, 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 very tempting move to teach. The fact that Hypnosis only has 60 accuracy pisses me off. But this thing is 100 attack? <gasps> Whew. Do I want to teach him that? That's a good question. Confuse Ray is a better move by every means necessary. Compared to Hypnosis, at least. But the fact that I can... The fact that this is a Nuzlocke for a stuff, I can, I can drain energy if I put things to sleep. I'm going to teach him that. I'm going to take a Confuse Ray Circuit Punch. This one will be a complete just staller, then, if I... I mean, Circuit Punch doesn't do anything but to begin with, but it's priority if the... Uh, this is very difficult, honestly. I don't think it's like punches. Confuse Ray is... <laughs> this thing could be like the ultimate staller. <laughs> I don't know, I may regret that. I mean, Sucker Punch sucks anyway, so I'm not going to regret it that much. Um, let's test it out here, though. I wanna... It's definitely going to one-shot this thing. But um, we have two second moves on, which is cool. I mean, if you want to... I mean, that's the thing. Hypnosis has no accuracy, so... It's going to piss me off, and I'm sorry if I am saying accuracy wrong or accuracy. Like, I don't care how it's pronounced. I just kind of say it however it looks. Accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. There, accuracy, not accuracy. Accuracy. See, sometimes I don't even tell the difference whenever I say it. It's just it's stupid. I just it, it just doesn't roll off the tongue. This doesn't roll off the tongue well. I don't know. It doesn't roll off my tongue at least well. All right, Jimmy, you take this thing out. Destroyed, wrecked everything above. Goodbye. Get all my HP back like that, even though we don't really need it. And goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. And have a nice life. Furfro level 38. <laughs> Furfro's just getting up there, but he's learning shit moves. Come on, Furfro. I'm out, Furfro. Alright, Ramos is done. It can take things too quickly when it comes to forming a friendship with the Pokemon Sprout. Like, I love how he calls, like, the people who, like, he faces Sprout. That's so, like, I don't know, it's so cute, the little freaking old man. <laughs> you believe in your Pokemon, and they believe in you too. Mighty X for Acorns Grow. Go on, then. Yeah, I earned it. Here's your own plant badge, Sprout. <laughs> I love Ramos. He's fucking awesome. <laughs> he's just like, have old man, it seems. Like, I don't know. He's like, he's like smiling and shit, man. <laughs> no, he says, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Look at him. He's like a fucking scissor cane. I can't, I can't get I can't get over that. That's hilarious. A scissor cane. Fuck. <laughs> I love I love Ramos. I'm sorry. He's He's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it was like the door for us too. We're gonna slide down, motherfucker. Let's go. Slide down. And now I have to go south. And uh, next steps, that's gonna be all Team Flare crap, isn't it? Ugh. You see, once things get back to Team Flare, I'm just like, eh. Hey, and then here's second was gonna call me, isn't he? Or as we go down, I guess he is. Or Serena will, or some shit. I may just end off the episode, or maybe after we go ahead and heal and get to the next route. We'll get there. We'll get an encounter over there. Um, it's gonna be kind of annoying if you're like duck trios, arena trap, and shit. Um, 
But I might as well get that out of the way now. As we can just get an encounter and then want to trade it away. And then we can end up the part. We can make it a little shorter than our other episodes have been. I try to keep these episodes relatively short. But whenever it comes to Waterlocks, I want to... You know, lots of encounters go on. And here's a little from Sycamore. Or someone. Oh, never mind. It's the opposite of Sycamore. Professor Sycamore told me you can now wield the evolution. This is truly wonderful. No, it's not. Fuck you. You just want to use me and abuse me and you know, take the Mega Ring and all that fun stuff. Fuck it. Bitch. Alright. Let's give down here. Like, whoever gave the Sonnery the fucking Mega Ring is a freaking dipshit. And you're just gonna be like, hey, so hot me, but when you have blah 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 Cool. So we get another freaking Pokedex part, which is cool and all, but. Did she just say joshing you? Fuck you. I'm joshing your mom. Okay, so. Route 13, Lumios Badlands. Why is it called Badlands? Is it a bad land? I don't know. It's very windy at some points, which makes it a bad land. And here comes the Trip Pinch. And then someone got on my case for calling Trip Pinch like Trap Pinch. Whenever it's Trip Pinch, like that. I don't, I don't know, who cares? Trail Hypnosis, this. Habide, okay, alright, I see you. Does that even affect me? It's just normal type. <laughs> I guess it really has nothing to touch me since I know it's like probably all ground moves. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's use a Great Ball. And then I might as well also get more items as well while I can, because we're very low on items. I always forget to, you know, stock up on items in these Let's Plays, so I gotta, you know, get the items here, potions, full heals, and all that. Well, hyper potions at this point. More, we get some Ultra Balls, even though we have a lot of Great Balls as it is, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter how big your bells are. How many how much semen it wields. But anyways, we got a trip inch. Trip just cool and all. Um I wouldn't really want to use one just because typically I don't know, Flygon will take forever to get there. We already have Matang, which I mean I know they're not the same type at all, but they both take forever to evolve, so um yeah, I don't really want to use for Bravo, which is garbage, just to get Flygon. Like, I hate Pokemon that, like, you know, they're garbage at first, and then they're beasts whenever they evolve, like, Sligu and shit. Once it goes into Gudra, then it's a monster. Alright, step it, frames, step it. Alright, Wonder Treat this bad boy away. And then we can go on stack of batteries, and then we can end up the part nice and fresh after we. Uh, serious nature. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, at least, yeah, the only new, uh, um, what can you use? Rot Slack Slide. Oh, well, whatever. It has no trainer to tell what to do, so. It doesn't know what I need better. It's so cute. I look at Trip Inch. He's just like, ah! <laughs> He's so weird looking. You'll never think that he'd become a Flygon. I don't know. That's so weird. How he kinds of Flygon. It's like random as hell. But, anyways, um, searching for a Trip on Moose. I'm waiting a moment, alright? What? 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 Come on. Come on, Nintendo. Don't, don't do this to me, Nintendo. I know your shivers suck ass, but come on. Come on now. Don't be down on me right now whenever I'm trying to do Wonderlock, alright? I'd appreciate that, alright? Come on. Trade this bad boy away. I'm waiting. I'm sorry I said I wouldn't wait a moment, but you know what? A moment's a while whenever it comes to doing videos, and I'm waiting for you to give me a Pokemon for this trip inch. And I want to do more videos after this. There you go. You find some from Japan. Use a no power. People have been using go powers on me lately. Ace. Ace, that's a cool name. Ace is the place with the health of hardware store. Come on, Ace. Give me something good. Don't give me a fucking cloth gazer or a tool store, hardware store. A Meryl. A fucking Meryl. You see, I like a Meryl. I like a Zumeril. But I already have a physical attacking water type that can take hits. And, um... I've already used the Zoom Rule and the Fairy Mounds type. I did love it a lot, but, um. Well, I don't really need it. Honestly, I, it's the last thing I really need to this team. So, we can head out now. We can get. I was about to get into the encounter. Um. We can go back and get to the Poke Center. Calmarine City. A very nice city. Might as well check out the Marrow while we're at it. It'll be a good backup in case anything does happen. I don't think anything will. And out of nature, that's good. Parasong, that's terrible. Aqua Jet, Belly Drum is also terrible, but Superpower is cool. 
This thing has a really, really, really nice uh, move set with an adamant nature. So people are people from Japan. They sound the real shit, man. They sound the real shit going down. I'm pretty sure I got this magic up here from a Japanese person. These Japanese breeders know what they're doing. Whenever it comes to American breeders, they're like, yo, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, um, I think a pretty sure Playboy will be better off of being a attacker than a special attacker, if anything. But And then a Hanage being freaking modest and 118 breeds later. Like, wouldn't you make it adamant if you're breeding that many? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just funny. At least they mark up the IV, so then I know, yo, 5 IV, not even bad. Alright, let's go over here. Let's buy some things. We have lots of money. A lot of it. Get like 20 Ultra Ball Sacks. We can get like, uh... We can get like 13 of these, why not? And, yeah, let's get revised, except we can't use them. Five of these. Well, we can just get full heals at this point, yeah. That was a waste of a buy. Oh well. We get like 10... Do we have any we have cereals for play like a lot? Yeah. I think like two more, why not? Just gonna use all our money, why the hell not? Because we're not gonna buy anything for a while as it seems. Like we are, we aren't. I don't like using I don't like stocking up my items very often. What do you have? I never take the second person ever. You probably have like a mail and shit. Or these I got quick ball. I got like two. Cause if I ever wanna just quickly like and kind of something that's easy to catch like a trip pinch, I could just, you know, use that and easily catch it. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon X Wonderlock. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Leave the comment question for the comment question of the day. Uh, leave your answer for that at least. Not the comment question of that. <laughs> That's making sense. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and see you guys later. Peace.